yeah. just like all kinds of holiday plans she's talking about off the air. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> uh, but you obviously are here, and you're here to... Uh, to welcome us with another new friend for Whitney's Women. Yes, we are back in studio, and I am with you know, one of the most, I, I have to say, one of the most phenomenal women because of your Aww. backstory and kind of what led you to where you are today. So mm -hmm. this is a great way to end 2019 with a big boom. Robin Harris, welcome to Whitney's Women. Yay, thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm so glad you are on. So first of all, we have you on because you have a nonprofit. Yes. And we're going to get to that, but let's tell a little bit of your backstory. Sure. So I grew up in North Lawndale, really rough area. Um, never had anyone really to encourage me. So fast forward in life, I became this top model. Woo! <laughs> and no joke, I come up no to big deal. I come up to her <laughs> hips. I know, yeah. Just to give like the um, listeners just a little bit of a guide, like I literally come up to your hips. I am five foot, yep. and you keep going. I uh, yeah, I'm a complete foot and an inch over you. Uh, so. I, I thought that I'd get this confidence and this encouragement and motivation through modeling. Um, and I did that for 15 years, but I actually did not. Okay, mm -hmm. so I thought modeling was going to gas me up, make me feel great about being tall, black, and beautiful. Yes, girl. But, uh, you know, modeling has its, its flaws. So moving forward, I'm kind of like speeding through this story. Um, I decided to back down from modeling, turn into a fashion designer and give back through fashion. Like, mm. I still love fashion. My way of speaking to you is through fashion. Like, I just, you know, I walk up to a stranger and be like, hey, girl, you look good. Yeah. You know, can I fix your collar, though? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Right, <laughs> right. So, um, so that's where the confidence apparel line stemmed from and then the nonprofit that we'll talk about a little later. So what was it that actually led you to being confident? Because I think for the listeners, I don't want them to miss that component. Sure. Because like you did say, you had it all. You had, you know, what the world would say is going for you, and mm -hmm. yet you were still, your cup was still empty. What was that moment? That moment, honestly, as soon as I became pregnant. Oh, right? yeah. So That wait, just filled up the whole cup. <laughs> I know. It's like, wait a minute, I'm pregnant. So what I mean by that is, I was like, who am I going to be for my daughter? Mm. Like, I can't drag on this false sense of confidence. So mm. I got to get it from somewhere, because I literally want to pass it down to her or him. You know, I didn't know what I was having at the time. So I had to buckle up, and I had to do words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. I had to really get uh, rid of some, like, really dark things, you know, that was instilled in me um, as a young adult. And I just had to live out loud. Oh, and, I love and that. some confidence from within so that I can pass it forward to my daughter. I mean, do you see why she is our <laughs> grand finale of 2019? Because that is so good. You know, people sometimes think words of affirmation seem silly, and they might whenever you're first starting them. Mm -hmm. But no joke, I think they help so much. Just remind you of, like, I think some words of affirmation can even start with, like, who you are at your core. And right yeah. now, if you don't know who you are at your core, like, who do you desire to be at your core? Right. And speak then speak it. it. Speak yeah. into existence. Yes. I'm a strong believer of words being really powerful. So oh. Seriously, um, words of affirmation is the same thing as somebody talking negative to you and you actually thinking, wow, well, maybe that's true. Right. Why can't we turn that around and be like, you know what, and say it to ourselves, yeah. something positive, and believe that that's true. Yes. You know? Well, and I'm a big kindness person. I'm like, we need to share kindness. But one thing I think we forget is to share kindness with ourselves because yes. we're so busy, like, being polite to yeah. others. But sometimes you got to be, like... Most kind to yourself. So yeah, nice. Brady's over there just like He's shaking his head. head. Yeah. Hey, work He's, work hard, be kind, right? Is yes. that Oprah's mantra? So oh, like, that's yeah. so and good. Rest, and the rest will take care of itself. It's so yes. true. Yes. Okay, so then let's fast forward. You have this baby. Yes. You start a fashion line. Yes. How did you start the nonprofit? Okay, so the nonprofit stemmed from, at first I was giving back, just uh, using the proceeds of the confidence line. So Confidence Apparel is a fashion line that empowers through fashion, like mm -hmm. t-shirts and hoodies. So right now I'm wearing one that says blessed and in intellect, wealth, charisma, and creativity. Ooh. So I would sell these shirts and I would use 30% um, of the proceeds and give back to help girls who can't afford to go to college. Mm -hmm. So my husband goes, okay, babe, this is great, but can we structure this? I love men when they come <laughs> in and do that. Like, can yeah. Can we structure this? <laughs> I mean, it's almost like we're a nonprofit because we're using the retail part to give back. So honestly, the structural part um, is kind of how the foundation came about. 
And then I started to really just expand with partnering with great um, other nonprofits that can help me reach uh, the tar target audience. Well, and I love what you just said that you partner with other nonprofits because sometimes people think, no, if I'm this, it's only, I gotta yeah. only protect this, but you're actually helping through other through your nonprofit, yeah. helping other nonprofits. So let's talk about the upcoming toy drive. Yay! So we've partnered with the YWCA Metropolitan Ooh. Chicago. Yeah. And we are giving back. So we're having a toy drive that's going to benefit some of the girls that they teach. And um, also some of our proceeds actually goes towards those girls at the um, Tech Girls program. They have a Tech Girls program that where they so teach cool. young girls in inner cities about, like, STEM, you know? Yeah. So, um, well, isn't it called, like, it's not just STEM anymore. It's like... Something. Is it steam? Steam. Steam. <laughs> steam. Yes. Yeah. Right. I yeah. love it. Yeah. And the arts the, in there. They added the so arts. Yes. So uh, the toy drive. So we're at three locations so far, and we're actually adding one on Friday. Uh, it's going to be at FFC in the South Loop. They're going to okay. participate. But and people just bring a toy and unwrap. Yes. So you bring an unwrapped toy, um, and it's new gonna, toy. New. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Specify that. A new unwrapped toy. Yeah. And it's going to benefit um, girls and boys ages nine. Through 13. That is awesome. Yes. That is so cool. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. So, that, um, the Confidence uh, Foundation, how do people find out and get involved with that? For sure. So, they can actually go onto our retail website. That's www.shop confidence.com. That's easy. Shop confidence. Dot com. Okay. And there's going to be a tab on there that says Confidence Foundation. And it goes back to scholarships. How much have you raised in 2019? Or do you want to do like a grand total? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay. So we probably raised about $10,000. Wow. That is impressive. Yeah. Uh, it's like we were, we were pumping those teas. <laughs> yeah, you were. Um, and we actually really helped one girl in particular, that mentor. Um, we helped pay for her first uh, year of books. That's uh, amazing. Yeah, for, for that. And it really just... I don't know. It just touched me. I love, love, love what I do. Yes, and for people that maybe are hearing this and think, hey, I want to get involved. Maybe I can't donate, but my daughter would benefit from the Confidence Chat yes. or the Confidence. How do they get involved? Oh, my gosh. So, again, uh, shop-confidence.com. Okay. And we actually, under the Confidence Foundation, you can click on the link that says Confidence Chats. Oh, cool. So, and just tell them real quick what the Confidence yay. Chats are. Okay, can I? Yeah. I'm this so is, excited. Yeah. So, I, um, so, I do these Confidence Chats where I involve a lot of women from different backgrounds, and we talk about just real stuff like mm. I'm actually going to do an after the show yeah girl and um it's to motivate motivate oh. leave you motivated leave you inspired and have you practice it right? and it's with young girls it's with young girls and we just talk about everything from beauty to health to peer pressure to oh. suicide oh we, we go yeah. there we go down to the Good. root of things and we really just help them um, with their confidence and kind of let them know what it even means, you know, yes. to be confident at a young age. Oh, my goodness. You are yeah. doing big things. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much for coming on and rounding out the year. Yes. Let's give back. Let's yes. leave an echo of confidence to ourselves and to others because I promise you, you can be the most talented, the most skillful, the most beautiful, but if you lack confidence, what are we doing? That is right. That is so good. Oh, I, I mean, know. Don't you just want to go out and conquer today, Brady? I feel confident. Yeah, right? yeah. I, I, I do too. I like. This is amazing. <laughs> I know. And I was going to ask if you have any male apparel, and I'm looking right on the website. The first thing I see <laughs> is this yellow hoodie. Yes. Yeah. Inhale confidence, exhale, exhale doubt. doubt. Yes. Right. I'm going to steal that. That is so good. I'm giving you one. Can oh. I give it? Can I? Yeah. Give, I'm going to oh. give her one oh. to get to you because you have to rock it. Like, I will rock. I yeah. love your swag already. Okay. <laughs> Please don't leave. <laughs> well, big things for Robin. That's awesome. And of course, big things in 2019 with Whitney. But yeah. next year, I have a feeling more big things to come in 2020. Right? You know, um, I joked because, um, well, I actually said I wanted, I have 2020 vision for next year and it's going to be the next level. And um, my eye doctor actually said, actually, 2015 is the best one. <laughs> so I'm changing. There. I'm, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm, yeah. So, but yes, next year is very, very exciting. I have some things, you know, always kind of cooking up, but I have my eye on more reach. And through that is really how these topics are unfolding and changing lives. So I, I have to say 2019 has been one of those years that I look back on and I blow a big kiss in a bit and will always like embrace this because we, 
you know, reached more markets, we won awards, but now it was also the bedrock of my mission. And there's no stopping us as we go forward to reach people through being a safe space for stories. And so that's what we're all about. 2020, look out. Man. Yeah, I am so ready for it. Oh. And of course, we want people that need the inspiration, just like Robin through Whitney's Women today. Um, you, you can always follow us online, find out more about the women we have on here, the inspirational stories we have through the show. So on Instagram at Whitney underscore Reynolds. But Brady, I will probably see you at the first of the year because we'll need to kick things off with a really great woman. But it's going to be hard shoes right. to fill after today. I yeah, know. it's going to be a hard year to top. But if, if anybody yeah. can do it, I know Whitney Reynolds can do it. So <laughs> thank you so much. And thank, thank you. you for an amazing 2019. Uh, thank you. For more information, check out WhitneyReynolds.com or get social with us. Twitter at Whitney Reynolds or on Facebook, The Whitney Reynolds Show.